Hi, good afternoon folks. In this video, the 2023-24 Buffalo Sabres. Let's have a little fun. Coming up. Okay, I was asked by Dave V, shout out goes to Dave V, if I could come up with the version of the 2023-24 Buffalo Sabres. Two years down the line, we'll take a look at this. Now what I've done is I've got the four lines, okay? The three pairings, I'm gonna put a seventh defenseman and the three goaltenders. I put one A, one B, one C, because we just don't know what the future holds. And all they, they all are doing well. All are doing well. So we're gonna take we're gonna have a little fun with this, guys. And I will try to keep it moving as quick as possible because I do have the uh, the pregame I want to do. So let's get on this. Now I will start. I'll start from the bottom up. Why not, right? I'm gonna go with what I think. Doesn't make me right or wrong. I'm allowed to be wrong. Now, I got our 1A. No, I'm going to go with 1C and work my way up. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go 1C. All right. I got Eric Portillo as the 1C right now. Could he be our starter in two years? Absolutely. There's no way to know. But... As it looks in my eyes from what I've seen and the development and all of it, and I'm going with gut feeling too, okay, on some of this stuff. And now, 1B. One 1B, one I got UPL. Yep, even after what he's done, I got Devin Levi still as my favorite, my front runner, who I think could surprise us and really rise as our goaltender eventually so we're gonna see we'll see how that pans out levi's numbers are just in, insane they're insane i think his save percentage last time i checked is 955 guys good lord six shutouts 955 last i checked unreal so that's how i got it so far and upl's impressed big time yeah, absolutely upl could be the the reason why I've got Levi number one, if I'm going to go just in a nutshell, Levi doesn't give up rebounds like UPL. Really, that's the bottom line with me. He swallows pucks, this kid. I remember him on Team Canada. He swallows them. There's no rebounds. We'll see. So the NHL is different. He could flop. There's no way to know. Now, we're going to go to the defensive pairings, okay? Uh, I think I'll work my way down with this one. Do it the right way. And I think I got to go with what I'm putting here. How I picture it will be in two years. I got Darlene and Yoki Haru still as our top pairing in two years from now. Fair assessment, I think. I really do. Darlene's going to get better and better. Um, okay. Second pairing. And I got Owen Power and an Undetermined as our, our on our right side. Uh, but you know, I was thinking we could always flip Power to the right side, guys. He has the reach; he could compensate. And uh, yes, guys that, that, uh, that are meant to be left-sided defensemen can play right. This is the professionals, they can play. But if we're gonna go by the book, I got power as our number two on the left and I got an unknown as our, in our, um, in our, in our second slot for defense, defensive pairings. And I 
on our bottom pairing, I have Sa uh, Matthias Samuelson and I got uh, Scary Laxonen. Now that's a question mark too though. We gotta put a question mark because I'm not sure about that. It's just the best of, I could figure out that that makes kind of sense. His age, what side he plays. I don't want to write off that he's not, uh, he's not coming around. Now, um, yeah, that's it. No, I got to put the seventh, my seventh D. Seventh, I'll put it in the middle, okay guys? The seventh defenseman. Ah, spelling error. Sorry, guys. Hold on. God. Our 7D, I put as Ryan Johnson. So that kind of rounds out the seven. We have one here that's unknown. We'll have to figure that out. But just seeing some of these names feels better already, eh? God, just looking at some of these names. Okay, now, the forwards. I'm trying to keep this moving. Keep in mind, this is two years from now. So it might be a bit of a stretch. I got Isaac Rosen on the fourth line. Oh God, why did I put his whole name? I'm just gonna like confuse myself. Hold on guys. I wanna save space, so this is why I'm just going with the last names. Okay, Rosen's there. I got Peyton Krebs as our fourth line center. Calm down, calm down. This will make sense in a sec, because I'm going to explain it at the very end why. And on our right side, I got Victor Olofsson. So I got Rosen, Krebs, and Olofsson. Now guys, think about that. That's our fourth line. Tell me things aren't looking brighter as I move up the, the scale here. God, just by looking at that, you know? But I want to explain something at the end. All right. Coming in as our, uh, on, le on the left side. We got Brett Murray. I got Tej Thompson. and J.J. Paterka as our third line. I got some size. I want some size on this team. That's absolutely, when, I, when I'm building a team, it's the way I think. I want size also. No, we need size, not just flashy skating that can just be pushed with one hand off the puck. No, no, no. We need some, we need some toughness. We need some grit, some size. Not saying Murray's the most crazy guy, but we need, we need that size. Okay. Going up to the second, the second line. And a bit of a compliment for this guy. Asplin comes in. I got Middlestat as our second line center. And Jack Quinn. Asplin, Middlestat, and Quinn. Now, going into the top line. And keep in mind with Skinner, why I put him there. He's like the top 10, since he's come into the NHL, he's top 10 in even strength goals for guys. So. If he breaks out this year a little and gets 25, who's to say when he hits his 30s, his prime years on his 30s? We don't know for sure. We don't know. And I think Skinner, 
under Granado as a new player. He is. Uh, so I got Skinner uh, there, and Skinner could easily flip to right wing because we know he plays both. He does play both, but we got him there. Dylan Cousins I got as our number one center because I believe he's going to be. And there's nothing anybody could do to argue that with me. I love his will to win. I don't care how many mistakes he makes at 21 years old. Really don't care, 20 years old, really. So we got to get, we got to be patient. We got to let this guy develop. And uh, this, is a, this is a leader, this guy. And speaking of leaders, on the right side, I got Alex Tuck. Let me close this up while I keep this moving. So this is what I came up with, Dave. It's what I came up with. You guys, I know, are going to throw what you think at me, which is fine. Let's have some fun with this. Because let's be honest here. When we got Cousins, Middlestat, Thompson, and Krebs down the middle, guys, we have options. We have options. If they're all going, okay, if these, guys, if these four are all going eventually and healthy and doing okay, and all of them are capable of 20, 25 goals, we've got quite a, a selection here. We do, you know what I mean? We really do. So I got Skinner, Cousins, and Tuck on the first line. I got Asplin, Middlestat, and Quinn on the second line. I got Murray, Thompson, and Paterka on the third line. And on the fourth line, I got Rosen. Yes, I know it's a bit of a long shot. Krebs and Olofsson. Because I believe first rounders can come up by the time they're 20. And then you got on our pairings in defense, I got Darlene, Yokiharu, Power, and a player to be named later, Samuelson, and Laxanen on our bottom three, uh, on the bottom three. And our seventh D, I have is Johnson. The goalies in order, I have one A, I have Devin Levi, UPL, and Eric Pertillo. Now, I'm going to go over this with you quick here. Goalies that will be gone, I believe. Anderson, Dell, Subban, Tokarski, I'm guessing in two years, are gone. Defensemen that I believe will be gone. Miller, Butcher, Pizik will be gone. Bryson, question mark. Hag, question mark. Fitzgerald, question mark. Mostly because he's, right, he, he's, he's a right defenseman. He's a right-sided defenseman. So I don't want to put him here because I don't think Fitzgerald and Loxanen are in our long-term plans. One of them might be which I'm guessing it'll be Laxanen. But who knows, right? We don't know what's going to happen in the next two years. We just don't know. So they get question marks. Now, forward's gone. Okposa will be gone. Jurgensen's will be gone. Gergensen's, Jurgensen's. Uh, Hayden will be gone. Ekin will be gone. Bjork, I put a question mark. Henestroza, I believe, will be gone. Kajula will be gone. Jankowski will be gone, I think. It's too soon to write him off. I get he's a first rounder and everything, but it's just too soon. Uh, Rael Salainen, question mark. Weisbach, question mark. If there's anybody I forgot, it's because I forgot. There's <laughs> just no other reason. I forgot. Okay, hope you had a little fun with this. It sure as hell looks a lot better than our lineup this year, guys. It really does, you know. It's scary to think of Darlene and Owen Power, eh? God. And there will be times they pair together, regardless of who plays the left side or not. You know what I mean? They will pair together. That will be something to see, really. Okay, guys, I got to do, do the pregame. I got company coming. Want to get it done before? See you in the next one.